Welcome back to Enter the Spark. My name's Nate. We are playing Kona for the very first time. This is a blind playthrough. I know absolutely about this game. Um, it was recommended to me by my mum and my sister. So they're both gamers, they both like to play games, and this was one that they played together. They really recommended to me. They really want me to play it, they want to see my reaction. Yeah, I'm super excited to play this game. I know very little about it. I know it's some sort of detective game. I know there's some sort of supernatural element to it. Uh, like something to do with people being frozen or something. That is it. That's all I know. Maybe it's set in Canada or Alaska or somewhere. Somewhere in the Americas up north. If you're new here, then please follow the channel. If you're coming back and returning, thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoy this. I'm really looking forward to playing Kona. So I think time has come. I'm going to switch over to the main camera and then we're going to get started playing. Okay, prepare yourselves for the loud audio. It's fading in now. Also, the music is pretty awesome already. It's time to continue. Right, I'm ready. I am ready. Let's play some Kona. Okay, new playthrough. I'm excited for this. No spoilers. If you've played Kona before, please let me enjoy this spoiler free. This is pretty. Northern Quebec, October. Carlton Bear sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Oh, okay. We're driving? We are. Pick up truck, driving through the back. On rough and bumpy roads. They had set up to meet at the general store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. Yep. Yeah, it's a tower there. Ooh, the sensitivity is odd. Like motion sickness odd. I might just quickly turn down. Camera sensitivity, a little bit lower, please. Normally I like high sensitivity, but this does not feel like one of those games. Field of view. Give it 80. That's a bit better. was meeting his client in a store near this area. He was on the right track. There's something in the bushes. Okay, so we've got like a narrator guiding us through this. Should be interesting to see how that goes. I wonder who the narrator is. Also, I can hear things over here. I don't think this game's a horror. I think it's like a puzzle platformer thing. 
I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. Manistan. It will be good. What's that mean? Oh, I want to read it. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's in French. The flyer says, Northern Quebec and its inexhaustible resources. Ah, that's what that word meant. Ine Puisable. The province of Quebec sits on an in inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. Get involved and invest now. Quebec's, Quebec's economic might will be awakened. At the heart of the wilderness, the north is swarming with wolves, caribou, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit the equal of Africa's wildlife. We are the Africa of America. Come discover the north and experience a genuine white jungle. Interesting. I mean, they do have a lot of wildlife. Why not? Okay. Ooh, bit on the back. The country of Manistan's people wish to see you very soon. Okay. Bit of a map here. I can hear something out there. It's weird. Sounds like it's right behind me, which is freaky. The birds. Just probably going to check out the. Um, I was going to say tower, but I've got an empty bottle. Oh look, I can see my body. That's a nice detail. You don't normally get that in um, first-person games, and that is freaky. Oh, is it? It's like North American totem poles. I don't think that's the right. It might be the right word. I'm sure we will learn a lot as we play through this. Okay. Fire starter. Right. Pincher. Pincer. Fire starters. Emperor Duplessis, in spite of his conservative agenda, did a good job in colonizing the rural north, which helped to re-establish the region as an integral part of the province of Quebec. The blue fleur de lise could be seen fluttering in the wind here and there, taunting the red Canadian flags on the other side of the province's boundaries. Ah, uh, okay. See, yeah, I'm familiar with the red Canadian flag, the um, maple leaf. I've seen the blue one before. Or I might have seen it before, but not known about it. It's interesting. See, in preparation for Assassin's Creed 3, I've been trying to learn a little bit more about the Civil War, the American Civil War, and the Revolution and everything. Um, so I'm starting to get an understanding of how that all worked with the like, King George and the English and then you know the, the I guess the American sort of revolutionists, the, the freedom fighters for America it's interesting and complicated um, and if you're wondering absolutely loved Assassin's Creed Revelations, that was a game I played before this. I do intend, I know that there is like a DLC that I've got to play, The Lost Archives, and there's like a cinematic short, I think it's Embers or something. I do intend on watching them, I'm going to do them on a separate stream, probably not Wednesday now, or I might just do a bonus YouTube video, so be sure to keep an eye out there, subscribe to my YouTube channel, that way you'll catch it. Once I finish uploading all the Assassin's Creed Revelation stuff, it will definitely be added on there. Um, and yeah, if you're following on Twitch, you should get a notification if I ever decide to, um, out of the blue, stream it. So, I haven't forgotten. I do know I've got to do that. Right. 
Let's take a fire starter and our empty bottle. Ooh, how often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at its gate? That's a good question. How many people are stopping here? Power and everything. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. Still oh. not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. I'd take him too long. I'd probably take too long. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're it going. was time for him to get down to business. We're going, don't worry. Just, you know, breaking a potential government lock. Probably not illegal. We'll be fine. A bit weird. Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forests, not too far from here. Let's get our foot down. Get going. The local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. To those the wheels. Hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. Okay. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of a mine, which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton in one way or another. So far, only the industrialist's house had been a target, but soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. Whoa! What the hell happened there? Okay. I thought it was a bit weird that there was like a half a pickup truck back there. And then the radio cut out, and then we got driven off the road and am I meant to do something? A few hours later, okay. Wasn't sure if I was supposed to press something. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. Carl's not moving. Wow, he snowed in. That's bad. Get up, he's got a Kona, nice. Interesting way to introduce the game. Yeah, you don't want to be in the snow. You're going to get cold, wet, very quick. Do I have any chains? I don't have chains. Got anything in there? Fire starter, we'll take it with us. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin-stinging cold. Oh my goodness, see the other person. Are they alright? The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance. Carl so, needed help. Is there a way to crouch? It or? was a small, locked box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. Nothing was to be left to chance. Is that not the, um... William, whatever his name is. Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was. But it's Carl didn't care uh, much about flowery language. Isabella, you gave meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds and tides, against ice and blizzard. Very cryptic. 
close this door for him. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. I'm gonna go right then. This looks like a side road. Let's get indoors. This is like um, a survival game. The flames won't grow without some help. Other materials were required. Maybe and put like a, a lamp on. Is that working? Carl, ever diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigations. Okay, that's not any use to me right now, though. We'll stay alive. Matches, matches, perfect. We just need to find some like firewood now. Can I put this on? Firewood. Where am I going to get some firewood? Is there any? There's going to be some outside. Carl couldn't give up. Surely something in there could be useful. He said I've given up. I'm looking for firewood. Any of this do? No. Oh, okay. Cold turned into pain. Carl needed to find someplace warm. Logs, get the fire going. Okay, just drop the chair a little. There we go. Right, my temperature's going back up, but I've got to watch that. I think I've also got like food and like hunger. Oh no, health and brain power. Of course I'm injured, aren't I? Do I have a first aid kit? I am literally just pressing buttons right now. Telling me the cigarette is a health thing. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette was his own personal breathing assistant. <laughs> Through his mind, his stress levels. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna call that stress. Scratches did not stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. <laughs> what is this? How do I... Is there a way to crouch? There's, oh, there's a jump. Okay. Bumper jump. Bump crouch. Interesting. It's like binocular vision. Very bad blizzard. Car's over there somewhere. Is that a lake? Pit? Let's head down here, see if we can find out what's going on. See, the heat's good, but I need, like, I need medicine, really. Chains. Even better than he had hoped. How did I miss Carl that? Carl Fauvert had succeeded once more, and yep. was now on his way to new adventures. Okay. The narrator's a little bit annoying. It's giving me, um, I've never played Stanley Parable, but obviously from the trailers, I know the narrator in that, and it's giving me those sort of vibes. Um, it'd be nice if he didn't speak as often, for like every little thing. Right. Yeah, I don't know how to miss those chains. Before this door is a pain in it. 
close the door, keep the heat in. It feels like the right thing to do. Let's get back to the car, put the chains on, see if we can back it up. I reckon it could be a long way that way. So where'd the other person go? So both sides, so it's all good. I think it's all good. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, maybe the lockbox. Let me, um... He says a few scratches, but... I... That was quite a bad car accident. Equipment, camera, map, journal, flashlight, inventory, fire starter, pr da -da -da, matches, consumable, locked iron box, it's my cigarette. Maybe it was back in the car, maybe it's um, under the sun locker thing. What are those called in a car? The like flap that you pull down to block out the sun, there's sometimes a mirror on the back. Sunblock? Like, uh, sunblock's like sun cream in it. That crouches. That's no good. What about the boot? First aid kit served to heal his wounds. Perfect, that's what we needed. Yeah, I'm gonna leave his car. And I'll do that out here. Much better. Let's get moving. It's a freezing cold game. I'm actually quite warm here in the UK. Oh, why it's hurt my eyes. <laughs> Can't see a thing. Not the music. Snow chains on the wheels. There's nothing out here, what's that sign say? Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing okay. caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Six. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Okay, Being late okay. to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Where does Hamilton live? Oh, that's helpful. Barely see it. <laughs> There's a house here, I can see me down the bottom. I forgot where he said I need to go. Carl was dying to stretch his legs, but he had to stay focused on the task at hand. Yeah, okay, but what, what is the task at hand? Oh, I'm just gonna keep driving. I'm sure I'll be told when to stop. Radio on. Okay. 
hit loading screen. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Oh, that's not Carl good. had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Okay, we got a camera. It's an interesting uh, mechanic. There's going to be something about this, isn't there? Take a couple of pictures. Apologies if you're hearing the. Um, Achievement notifications. Don't know how to switch them off. Camera away, it's a bit weird. Is it Snooka Cola? No, no, wrong universe. Smash bottles. The hell happened here? Because he's not the owner of the general store, right? An explosion suddenly occurred outside. No, this isn't a horror game. Do you know what? Yeah, how do I how do I get it? It's my camera. There it is. It's a bit spooky. I don't think it is. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. That seems a bit silly. I guess it's 1970s, isn't it? 1970s in the middle of nowhere, Quebec. That's probably a good thing that they've got electricity, so... Secretary wouldn't be... Wouldn't be luxury in here. No, it wouldn't. Cash register instructions. To open the cash register, crunch that crunch. Punch the price, two numbers minimum. Press sale. Turn the crank two times. Punch the machine if it doesn't work. Punch it if it doesn't work. Nice. Two numbers minimum, press sale, turn the crank two times. Got it. I understand Quebec's Klondike. It's another flyer. Quebec's Klondike, Northern Quebec's economy is booming. The north of Chibougamau's area, how I'm going to say it, Chibougamau. Population will soon reach 30,000 souls, among which thousands of happy families will be prospering thanks to the hard labor of their fathers, who will be contributing valiantly in expanding Quebec's national wealth. Mines and hydroelectricity, hunting and fishing, the true Canadian dream. Turn it into your reality now. The mines are sector in full expansion. Did you know that since 1960, Canada's tripled the amount of resources royalties is collected? Resource royalties collected. Did you know the country's true source, which is lying under your very feet at this very moment? 
The building of our schools, our hospitals, depends on our minerals, exploiting our resources, the road for our future. I wish to see you. So, we've two different flyers. One about the nature, one about the resources and the job opportunities. I do find it a bit weird. Okay, also post office for the locals. I'm going to head outside and see what that noise was. Okay, In wolves. Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. That looks like it's been cut, doesn't it? Like, it's weird. After a note, torn paper. Let it be known. Was in the air. Seems like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Let it be known, you're nothing more than a brigand, a robber, a garbage hoarder, a viper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife at my throat. Too bad for me, but but what? Oh, I need the key. Okay. Let's go back inside the garage, have a look inside the cash register and see what's going on. There's no one out here. The wolves cut the wire? It'd be weird for them to... I mean, I'm surprised they're not trying to get in here with them. Um... A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. Chocolate fire guard, then. Radiator. Uh, let's do eleven pounds. It sale. Which one sale? Oh, there it is. Sale. Sixty-seven. Sale. Turn the crank twice. Perfect. Host key. Canadian dollars. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. See actual cables down the line. Carl knew that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Note from Gilles. How do you say his name? Giles? Did say Giles? Or oh, Gilles. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. When people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry. We'll have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to get out right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I'll have to close down the shop. Unless you would like to come in, fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you, after all. You must know how it's done, since it's yours. Kind regards, your dedicated manager, Giles. So he faked being sick. Because he was afraid of what's going to happen. That makes sense, why? Yeah. Hamilton was in here. Not the shop manager. Ooh, another key. Garage key. Okay. No power to the pumps. Is that long? I could do with that. Just in case. I don't know how much I can carry. I can put some stuff in the car. Uh, that's what I want. Cigarette on the floor. Duct tape. Matches. 
take us some credit. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. We passed 1556. One ER rang. What does ER rang mean unless... Is that like a street name? Rue de la Chapelle, Kem entre lach, Kem entre lach, Ola. So you got Louis Blay, Wilfred Roy, Jean Louis, Saul Marco, Rosé Armand, Armand, JG, Lamath, Christian Close. Okay. Yeah, we'll take that with us. We we'll have to find out. Right, we'll have a list of suspects, I guess. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Ooh, Secret Service. Mr. John Vaughan, Montreal. I'm not going to look inside the envelope. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? That's a good point. Man, Quebec is massive. So Quebec's a province, not a capital or anything. Montreal is the um, capital, isn't it? This place is a mess. It is, isn't it? How do I get around there? I really want to step on the dead man to get past, but... Oh, okay, that's all this says. Well, how am I doing for temperature? Alright. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time, from an era long forgotten. Amateur hunters showing some pride at having killed a nice pelted beast. With men like this roaming the area, wolves would become extinct within 10 years, Carl thought. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. He sounds like the like guy from Civilization V. There's like a narrator for the Civilpedia or whatever it's called. Post office. Yeah, I've got a key for a post thing, but oh, no, I don't want I don't want this again. No, no, no. I'm looking for. Random post box key. I mean, is that not what I've got? Yeah, I'll just spot these. Well, fire starters, like fire starting kits, I guess, like kindling. Right, let me check my inventory. I'm really warm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put this fan on. I hope it doesn't make too much noise. It's way too warm in here. Inventory. Post. Oh, post key. Okay. Garage key. Duct tape. 28 poly po Polaroid films. 15 matches. Around a bottle. Okay, I do have a weight limit. I might put the logs in the boot of the car. Okay, but we don't have the random key for that. 
gonna head over here. What's that noise? What is this? Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this? As if an iceberg came out of the ground? That was a first. Yep. Are those my footprints? Prints? Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty, or was it a possible lead? Yeah, I've got... Like, deer footprints on the photo, but then those are clearly wolves. It's probably a very bad idea. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. Check out the garage first, that seems a bit weird. Is that what the wolves were after? It's like, look, their prince came in this way. Universal video game controls. Update flyers. It's ah. me. You wouldn't leave him open, would you? A monster. And a bit of radio. Why not? What's this? Cleanest spot in the area. Yeah. Fair enough. Staring intently at the controls won't be enough to make that lift budge. The poor thing was out of power. Well, I reckon we can go fix the um, fix the wire now. It's a car in it. It'd be a classic these days, but. Right then. Yeah, just break the lock for now. I don't think, um, what's his name's gonna mind? Explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. It's disturbing about that music playing at the same time as dead man lying on the floor. I thought we were supposed to do something more like a bury him or something, but I guess it is a crime scene and maybe the cold will keep him fresh. That'll preserve the body, won't it? Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. That's, that's the murder weapon. In the post box. 
the murder weapon. Yep. What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Letter from Hamilton. It is a citizen of Her Majesty in the free economic chambers of the world that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is in grave danger. A member of my community, the Honourable... So... He had a box in a car. He posted the key in here. The murder weapon got posted on top of it. He died. Uh, I'm not sure. It's a bit complicated. So was he driving the car? Did he run all the way back here? Get shot, and he's playing spy for his country, but he's saying the free world is in danger. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. The note explained that the garage and the store know, couldn't be know, supplied with electricity at the same time. This is the garage, isn't it? Surely we have power now. Perfect. Okay, center. Gordon Freeman. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. Seriously, we're going to be fighting them. Um Oh, what they called like head crabs. What's the name of the um, the aliens on Half Life Two? It's not head crabs are the little things which you would hit with this. To be fair. waste any more of that. Put the logs in the boot of this car. Maybe just two. Yeah, I'll do for now. That's nice. You can actually see them. I think. I don't know. Was that there before? Oh yeah, no, no, no. That is that's me putting stuff in there. Okay. I think we go and investigate footprints. I mean, didn't look in the toilet, did I? Terrifying if Shrek just burst out of there. Okay, we'll carry a couple more logs in. Carl was beginning to know the store and its surroundings like the back of his hand. The seeker had sought. What does that mean? The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally, had seen a share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Heads off in this direction. Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. Ooh. 